Hello and welcome back to The Haunt Line, the show dedicated to SoCal haunts and events. Before we get started with today's episode, I want to take a second to thank and welcome all of our new followers, all of our new subscribers, everybody who's been leaving comments on our social media, on our YouTube videos. Thank you so much. It means the world to me. I love talking haunts, and I love that you do too, so let's keep going. So we're going to do two things in today's episode. First, we're going to talk about version two of the HN Nightmares speculation map. And for the second part of the episode, well, I created a poll on Instagram, and I asked you all for your opinion on the speculated HN Nightmares mazes, and uh, we're going to go over your results. We're going to go over the poll results and see what you guys think about each of the speculated mazes coming to Horror Nights. First, I want to go over version two of the HN Nightmares maze speculation map for Horror Nights Hollywood. Now, this whole situation is pretty interesting. For those of you who aren't familiar with at HN Nightmares or Horror Night Nightmares, they are a Twitter account who for the past couple of years have released speculation maps, trying to guess what mazes are coming to Horror Nights for that specific year. But here's the thing. These guys have gotten their guesses pretty spot on for a few years in a row, which leads me to think, are these guys guessing or do they know somebody on the inside? I think it's the latter. Uh, I think they have a source, but whatever. For now, we'll just call them speculation and we'll say that they're really good at guessing. (laughs) So the speculated mazes for the HN Nightmares map for this year are Billie Eilish, Beetlejuice, Gremlins, The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, The Haunting of Hill House, All Hallows Evil, Universal Monsters, The Bride, a Jordan Peele original maze, and The Walking Dead Attraction. Now those were all listed on version one of the map. But version 2 of the map was just released, and interestingly enough, we lose the chilling adventures of Sabrina, and we also lose Gremlins. Now again, yes, this is all speculation, right? But I'm just going off of the fact that they've been correct a couple of times. So if they're correct this time, that means that both Orlando and Hollywood are losing the chilling adventures of Sabrina as a maze, and that we're also getting one more original concept maze for our event here in Hollywood this year, which leads me to think, what is that original maze gonna be? And could we potentially, thanks to everything that's going on right now and the the uncertainty of the haunt season, could we see the return of, say, Holidays in Hell, or maybe even uh, Pandora's Box? Could we see one or both of those mazes making a comeback to the event this year to make up for whatever lost budget or lost time that they may have because of the outbreak. And when it comes to the second speculated IP, the only thing that really makes sense to me are either something from the Crypt TV universe or maybe something from the Blumhouse universe. Now, what's interesting to note is that the Orlando version of this map has also changed quite a bit. Version 2 of the Orlando map no longer show Billie Eilish, Gremlins, or Sabrina listed as mazes for them. Is this something related to the uh, the current situation, or did they get their info wrong, or are they throwing us off? Who knows? This is a speculation map, so we're not going to know until the announcements start rolling in, and uh, we're not really sure when that's going to start happening anyways, so <laughs> for now, it's just fun to speculate. So uh, comment down below what you think. Uh, do you think this is all speculation? And if you think it is real, uh, what do you think could replace Sabrina and Gremlins? as additions to the event. All right, now let's go into your poll results. These were very interesting, and this was a lot of fun to look at, so thank you for all of you who participated in our poll. Let's start first with Billie Eilish. And by the looks of it, y'all aren't fans of Billie Eilish, huh? (laughs) Looks like the results for Billie Eilish were 45% positive and 55% negative. It was pretty close, but there is a very clear winner. The people have spoken. You do not want Billie Eilish at Horror Nights Hollywood. <laughs> now, a lot of the DMs and a lot of the uh, the comments I got regarding Billie Eilish in the park were asking the same question, which is, how? How is this going to be a thing for Horror Nights? And, uh, well, I just go back to my answer that it's, I can see it going one of two ways. 
One being a maze built off of her music catalog, or two, which is her producing music for an original concept maze, which I think will be the more likely situation if this does go down. I also kind of like the idea of uh, turning her music video for Bury a Friend into a maze. I mean, they really could use all the props, all the costumes, and the, the scenery of the creepy house and those, those crazy hallways. Uh, they could make that into a maze. So that would make sense. And it would be kind of cool to have uh, an undead Billy lookalike come out at you with those creepy eyes and maybe the syringes sticking out of her back or something. I mean, uh, who knows? Honestly, we're just going to have to wait and find out if this even happens. And then if it does, we'll find out how it's going to happen. Uh, but it's definitely sparked my curiosity. And it's very evident that you guys do not want Billy in the park. <laughs> Next on the list is Beetlejuice, which had a 92% positive reaction and an 8% negative reaction to it. Uh, to the 8%, who hurt you, bro? <laughs> why don't you want, why wouldn't you want Beetlejuice at Horror Nights? That's, uh, that's honestly the most surprising thing to me. So to the 8% that voted negatively, uh, let me know in the comments down below. What's your beef, bro? What, what's what's up with Beetlejuice? Why don't you like Beetlejuice for Horror Nights? Next on the list is Gremlins. 86% of you uh, reacted positively to this, and only 14% of you said no. Uh, another clear win. Now, before I was very certain that Gremlins was going to happen, uh, now I'm starting to doubt myself now that it's no longer on the HN Nightmares map in either coast. I think that's very interesting. So maybe John Murdy's photo with Gizmo in the background was just coincidence. I hope not, because again, a Gremlins maze would be a lot of fun. And uh, if they ax this one, well, then I'm going to be very sad. <laughs> now, interestingly enough, this one got the most answers and the most reactions out of all the other mazes listed on this poll. I'm talking about the chilling adventures of Sabrina. 51% uh, of you reacted positively 49 percent of you said no we do not want sabrina in the park so this one clearly has you guys very very split now my question is is the division because maybe the content of the show won't translate well into a maze um, are you worried about the age group that it's going to bring in uh, let me know your thoughts because this one again got the most answers and it's the closest in terms of results Next up is The Haunting of Hill House. Now, this one uh, got a positive reaction, but not as much as I thought it would. 74% of you reacted positively to Hill House being part of Horror Nights, and 26% of you said no. Personally, I think that Hill House is perfect for Horror Nights. In fact, I'm surprised they haven't already made this into a maze. I was kind of hoping for Hill House to be part of 2019, but if we get it in 2020... I'll still be very happy. I mean, there's a lot to pull from the series in terms of sets, in terms of costumes, and moments to be very, very terrifying in person in a maze. Also, if they can recreate the sequence that goes from the funeral home to the house, which I think is very possible, if they can actually make us walk that route, that would be awesome because that was easily one of the coolest moments in the show. So uh, Hill House... At Horror Nights, it's a yes for me. And it's a yes for you, too. <laughs> Next on the list is All Hallows Evil. 85% of you gave this a positive reaction. And 15% of you said no. You do not want All Hallows Evil as a maze at Halloween Horror Nights. Uh, listen, I agree. I think this would make an awesome maze. So I agree with the 85% of you. I also wouldn't mind a uh, Spirits and Demons of the East maze. Although it's kind of already been done. It was at Not Scary Farm, and it was called Shadowlands, and it was awesome. Shout out to you, Shadowlands. But I also uh, wouldn't mind seeing a Fallen Angels maze. Think about it. It's uh, kind of like a biker bar, right, with uh, bedazzled skulls everywhere. I mean, at least that's kind of the uh, the vibe that I got, right, that it's a, a motorcycle club. So imagine going through the Fallen Angels' club. 
I, I'd sign up for that. That would be pretty fun. <laughs> and last on the list is a very interesting one. And in fact, uh, I kind of changed up the poll a little bit. This is in regards to Jordan Peele's maze, which is rumored to be an original concept, but could also totally be Candyman. So I asked you, would you rather see an original concept maze or a maze based off of Candyman? And 60% of you said that you want to see an original Jordan Peele concept in the parks. And you know what? I completely agree with you. Jordan Peele clearly has a good eye for horror, which is ironic considering that his background came from mostly comedy. But anything horror that he has touched so far has been phenomenal. So I think giving him a shot at a completely original concept for a maze at Horror Nights would be a lot of fun. But either way, Candyman or Original Concept, I want more Jordan Peele at Horror Nights because Us was fantastic. And I want to say that he had a hand in designing that maze uh, along with uh, John Murdy and Chris Williams. So I think, yes, absolutely, let's have more Jordan Peele in the parks. And well, there you have it, your uh, poll results, which were uh, very surprising for the most part. But uh, once again, thank you to everyone who participated and who voted. Um, I'm definitely going to do more of these because it's a lot of fun. And in fact, uh, once we get all of the maze announcements, I may actually make a poll for all the official mazes announced at Horror Nights. So uh, you can look forward to that. And that's going to do it for us here on The Hotline. Be sure to follow us on social media. We are on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, you can visit us on the web. It gives links to everything, all of our content, including our podcast. Uh, also, don't forget to subscribe. Comment down below what you think of the HN Nightmares rumors, the speculation. Is it a rumor or is it a leak? We'll find out. And also, please be sure and check out our podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, uh, basically wherever you can find podcasts. Well, until next time, thanks for tuning in. Tell your friends about us. And uh, thank you for calling The Hotline.